Okay. The first type we want to look at this morning would be make or buy. And um, this problem that we have on the screen there is from 2014 people. And it's module one, so it will be question one. And it was part P. All right? Now, roadside limited manufactures computers using parts that it makes itself. Monitors are purchased from a supplier at a price of $17,500. The company currently produces 12,500 computers per year. The company's managing director has suggested that Roadside Limited could manufacture its own monitors. Estimates show that the company could manufacture its own brand for a total unit cost of $18,750, consisting of, and we have the breakdown in the cost here, the direct material, $7,500. Direct labor 5250, variable factory overhead 1500, fixed manufacturing overhead avoidable 1875, and fixed manufacturing overhead again unavoidable 2625, giving you a total unit cost of 18,750. Right. Now, I remember when we were marking this question, there was some controversy over how you could have that. Right? Some being avoidable and some being unavoidable. Like that should not be possible, really, when you classify in your course. Okay? If it's fixed, it means it's classified according to behavior. But, um, uh, right, um, it would be either fixed or variable. If it's fixed and it's avoidable, then it will also be variable. So basically what you are saying here is this fixed manufacturing overhead is, is fixed and it's also variable. So did this um, thing, but for purposes of doing this problem, CXC tends to do things like this. Because uh, sometimes a teacher setting a question who set this question didn't think of it at the time, right? And it then winds up on your people. What you uh, would look at is the avoidable part. Ignore the fixed part here, right? Okay. Um, well, all fixed costs are usually unavoidable. Okay, so you can't have this here. This is a paradoxical term. All right? The fixed cost means it means um, you're going to incur that whether you produce the monitor or you buy the monitor. It does not affect the decision anyway. Okay? So we will look at the the uh, relevant course now and then decide whether to make or buy. All right. The decision is usually based on the relevant course. Roadside Limited purchased 12,500 monitors per year. Okay. Should the company continue to purchase the motors? Show all weekends. For five mark, the company has recently discovered that factory space, which would be used for the manufacturing of the monitors, could be rented out for 750000 per month. Should the company make or buy the monitor? Show all weekends. So this part introduces another. Uh, element is uh, opportunity course okay the usual the usual way to handle this part is to add on the opportunity course to 
the manufacturing cost. It does not affect the mining price. Right. So what I've done here is arrange the course, the relevant course, into make, a column for make, a column for buy, and then the difference between the two or the differential course. Okay, so um, we have the direct materials, direct labor, variable, factory overhead. Notice I left out the fixed cost because fix, the fixed cost is not relevant. You want to incur them, I'll, whether you uh, produce or you buy. Okay? So what would have happened with the fixed cost, you would find it in this column and in this column as well. And then over here, when you minus the two, you'll get zero. So it wouldn't have made a difference. Okay? So the fixed cost was not relevant, right? That is something you should take note of. Right? Only the variable cost, the first three here, is relevant for the manufacturer of the item. It's not relevant for the buying. So we have here blank. Okay, so the different differential cost would be 7,500 minus that for materials, for labor, to be 50 to 50. You take away the zero here, you get 50 to 50. Variable factory overhead, 1,500 minus zero again, and you get 1,500. The avoidable cost, is we don't have because you can avoid it. You when you if you decide to make the item, you wouldn't have anything here, right? So, um, but if you decide you going to buy the item, then you would be able to avoid this course here. So it would it would uh, constitute what is called a, a course saving. That's why I put it in bracket. It will reduce the purchase price. Okay, so your purchase price would be the next item, and um, you are not going to include that if you decide to manufacture. But if you buy in, you will uh, incur the seventeen thousand five hundred. And for these two items. This is a minus and a minus will give you a plus here, right? And minus, minus, you get a negative here. So when we are done this, we'll get 14,250 if is the relevant cost. So it's not the manufacturing cost, but it's the relevant cost for decision making that you are going to use. And you're going to compare this with this. The buying in price after the cost saving of eighteen seventy five, it comes down to fifteen thousand six twenty five. So um, because this one is lower, you will choose the producing item. Okay. So, no, you will not buy. Okay, the question was, um, should the company continue to purchase the monitors, right? So, you say, no, they don't continue to purchase. Instead, you buy it, it's cheaper. It can save 14,000 minus 15,625 equal 1875 per money, monitor by manufacturer. Okay. So um, the avoidable cost, right? Why why wasn't it included in the um make 
like when you're making it, they excluded the Y. Oh, see, just a moment here. Yeah. I'm not saying, you yeah. know. I want to address this. Okay, give me that again, love me, yeah? For the, um, when you make, for, um, making the, for making the monitors, this is just for making it, um, they didn't put the avoidable cost. Why did they exclude it from there? Why didn't they put the avoidable cost under the manufacturing? Okay. Yeah, I'm not making it. Yeah. yeah, because if you if you um if you making it right, and you could uh, you could avoid the cost. Basically, that's what I'm telling you. And if you're buying it, you're avoiding it too. Or? If you're buying it, you can avoid it, right? So if you make but it, the, and you buy it. the reason it does not go in the make column is because it is a fixed cost. Uh, right? The reason it does not come here. It does not come here it's because it is a fixed source. Notice it's fixed manufacturing overhead, right? And fixed course, if I include it there, what will happen is uh, if I include it there, I will wind up with it here and also here. And wouldn't make a difference as well as you here, right? Okay. Yes, I'm still trying to um, understand it a little bit. Oh, right. The just think about it. The fixed score 